Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to install a vent in a van so you can breathe easy. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Dungeoneer. I'm your host Brad and I had been staying in the van for several weeks with the windows cracked at night so I could breathe. And that left me feeling a little uneasy because I sleep like a rock and I was worried someone was going to break in in the middle of the night. So I finally got around to installing a vent in the roof and that allowed me to both breathe and sleep easier. The vent that I installed in my camper van is a vent fan combo and these come in three parts. There is the main fan vent body, there's the mounting flange that actually attaches to the body of the vehicle, and then there's the decorative flange that comes up from the bottom and covers up the seam between the fan and the vehicle. Additionally, when you go to install a vent in your camper, you're gonna to wanna to purchase some butyl tape, which is like a soft, tacky tape that helps create a seal between the mounting flange and the vehicle itself, and you're gonna want some lap sealant which goes around the outside of the butyl tape, helps fill up any last tiny gaps, and additionally creates uh, a little bit of corrosion resistance for any hardware that's gonna be exposed to the elements. The first thing I did was take a measurement of the mounting flange on the portion that sticks through the body of the van. I took that measurement, marked it out on the roof of the van, and then in the center of that measurement, started drilling holes until they were big enough to fit a saw blade through. So at this point, I'm either going to properly install fan vents or do irreversible damage to my van. So this is, uh, this is what separates the men from the less competent men. Let's hope that was a good idea. Once the hole was big enough to fit a saw blade through, I started cutting from the center outward because I wanted to avoid cutting any roof material that wasn't meant to be cut. This is an extremely stressful part of the process. down onto so we're going to go build a box that's the same thickness as our insulation and that's going to give us something to actually cinch down onto. We've got our box built. The only thing left to do right now is clean the top of the roof because it's fucking filthy. With the hole cut and the box built, I drilled holes through the roof of the van and screwed into the box to secure it to the body of the van. Then I placed the mounting flange in the hole and used it to drill pilot holes. Once 
once those pilot holes were drilled, I laid down butyl tape, which I unfortunately don't have footage of because my camera overheated during shooting. Then I placed the mounting flange over the butyl tape and secured it down into the frame. Once the mounting flange was secured to the roof, I went around the edge with lap sealant and put a little dollop on all of the screws to protect them from the elements. Once everything was properly sealed up, I placed the vent body down onto the mounting flange. And you can see that I placed it facing backwards and I did this so that the vent won't catch air as I'm driving down the freeway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you plan on doing this to your van and you have any questions, or if you've already done it and think I'm an idiot, feel free to leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.